Hey, what's going on, Eagles fans? This is the Ariel Bedford for TCC Athletics here in the Eagle Dome in Tallahassee, Florida. Out of the TCC men's basketball team was victorious against Gulf Coast State, 74 to 61. I'm here with assistant coach Little Boy. Uh, coach, what was your take on tonight's game versus the Commodores? Uh, a few things stood out. Uh, defensive field goal percentage held them to 35 percent from the field. We were the same, but our poor offensive night. Um, you know, we were allowed to get the win with the poor offense tonight, uh, playing great defense. We allowed them to five assists on, I believe, 22 made baskets, which is huge. We made them make plays. We got them out of what they wanted to do offensively. Now, the Eagles outscored Gulf Coast from the bench 24 to 8. Uh, what did that advantage mean towards the outcome of the contest? Uh, it's always great when, when you get production from your bench. You know, you, you going into the year, you, you think you have, you're not as deep as you, you anticipate or you want to be. Uh, so we had, you know, Damian Freehay came off the bench, had, had some good minutes for us, great minutes actually. Uh, Rashad Lewis is always a spark off the bench because his ability to shoot the ball. You mentioned him uh, briefly just there. Could, but could you speak on the play uh, of Damian Freehay in a little bit more depth versus the Gold Coast tonight? Yeah, we, we just, we, we know our effort has to be better than, than our opponents. Right. And that, that's that's got to be every night. We can't, we can't have any off nights. Damian, we never asked him to do anything he can't do, and that's just to play hard and be opportunistic when the ball comes to him. We don't have to run sets for him, but if he plays hard, he rebounds like he did tonight, he's going to find the next uh, later on in the year. Though no Eagle player had more than three assists versus Gold Coast, it appeared that the guys were more conscious of sharing the ball tonight. Uh, you also were able to achieve one of head coach White's golden rules of making more free throws than the Commodores attempted. Uh, how effective could the offense have been had you shot a little better from the field? Oh, shoot, it would have been great. You know, we were up 12 and a half with the chance to put them away if we hit some shots, and, and that's the reason nobody had more than three assists because we're not hitting shots. You know, we shot 35%, I believe, from the field and right. 27 from from three. So, uh, you know, that's going to happen. So we got to, exactly, we have to get to the rim a lot more and draw fouls. What does this win mean for the ball club, Coach? But it's huge. We know coming into this week we had two big ones. Gulf Coast is going to come in hungry to get some separation, to get that two seed. Um, you know, now we're a half game back of, of Northwest, and you know we got to go. We got to go beat Pensacola at their place, which is going to be a tough task. Thank you for your time. Yep. Coach. Thank you. Now, as Coach just mentioned, uh, next the TCC men will be playing Pensacola State College in Pensacola this Saturday. Tip off is at 8:30 p.m. Central Standard Time. With this victory, the TCC men move to 15 and 8. For more information on the TCC men's basketball team, please visit tcceagles.com.